you know, the, the program has evolved over time. And uh, I'll be perfectly honest, when I first took the job in 2001, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And so I realized that kids were like, there were a lot of kids, we've been doing this since 1969. I mean, we have some major players in the industry who graduated from here before I taught. Rob Mathis is a very prominent composer uh, and producer. Um, uh, Scooter, uh, is it, what's his name? Scooter Libby? Is that Justin Bieber's manager? Scooter Braun, sorry. Scooter Braun. Scooter Braun. <laughs> That's what I say, Scooter. Yeah, he's, I mean, there's people, this is Greenwich, Connecticut. There's a lot of people who are well-connected, very wealthy people. We also have a population of people who are not. We have public housing. Um, so I just want to make sure I say that. But um, the program really uh, became, when I was listening to students make their music, it was like, wow, man, they just don't know anything about music concepts and, and composing concepts and uh, what was that about. So I, I wound up uh, creating a series of um, lessons and classes. The whole class is really about composing music. What is it to be a musician, compose music, to understand music? And kids can take four years of uh, this levels of this. I'm a full-time um, with music technology teacher, but really music teacher. So our focus is mostly on teaching music through composition. Um, <laughs> not that there's a, a plug block. here. Thank you. We know the author of that book. The author of that, right? Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, um, uh, so yeah. So kids learn about music through composing, like they would learn about music through band or chorus or something like that. We compose, and they use. And the technology is what we compose with. And um, so I do want to get to the equipment. We have a brand new lab that we uh, finally got built in a brand new recording studio. And it, it's finally open. I think this is our fourth year. We're open. And when we went to design it and they asked us, what did you want? I said, I wanted top of the line stuff. And uh, why not? It's Greenwich. If we have the money, let's go for it. And uh, we did. We uh, And the band's program got new room and new equipment. Everybody got new new stuff, the, the entire department. So we have um, Novation um, um, uh, launch keys, right? The, the launch key 61s at every station. And uh, we use a Focusrite um, uh, I track solo at every station. So it's a, a, a two channel interface. One is for microphone, one's for um, uh, instruments. And uh, they, when they made the recording studio, um, I just said, look, I wanted the best stuff. And so we were pro tools here in the recording studio and we do logic in the, in the lab. So kids learn garage band and logic this year using Soundtrap for all the right reasons. And um and we're a red net uh, here because when the people who built this, remember, I, I'm not a I'm not a music technology geek. I'm really not. Uh, but the people we hired a sound design company that came in. We said we wanted the best stuff. And what did they give us? They gave us Focusrite. And it's innovation. And it was absolutely innovation keys. I picked out myself, I have to say. Okay. Uh, but they uh, uh, it's fantastic stuff. It's just and, and I'm not just saying that because, you know, you found me and it was like, I actually found focus right at a conference. I was I said, Oh, yeah, your stuff is great. We use it all the time. They were like, what? In a high school? I said, yeah. yeah. In, in the in the in the courses that your students mm -hmm. are embarking on when they come into the program, um, just give us in the audience a quick overview sure. of what are they what are they learning what are the primary topics what are they walking away from after four years yeah well i can't help it but i'm a music teacher mm -hmm. so everything is based around the general basic concepts of music so it doesn't matter if it's um chords bass uh melody how do you construct all of this stuff understanding keys key signatures we do work at the piano keyboard they learn some skills of the piano they don't learn how to read uh music notation uh to play the piano um uh, but they learn basics of, of rhythmic notation because it makes a difference in quantizing in the software. And um, the idea is that they understand the basic music content.